Oh. So, why beer? Why beer? Well, uh, I guess, uh, you know, much like everybody, I've been uh, drinking for uh, quite a long time, but uh, yeah, just uh, been brewing for quite a long time, eight plus years, and uh, you know, it was a hobby at first, started in uh, on the stove top and uh, went from there, and uh, then we, uh, you know, Kevin and I met, and Kevin had been brewing for a long time as well, and uh, we just uh, decided that uh, it was a good idea and thought that the uh, venture might be uh, a good, uh, you know, work out, and uh, so we took a chance and uh, opened this little place up, so. Here we are. Here we are. Uh, why do you think some people are still resistant to craft beer? Uh, I think it, I think it comes down to the just, uh, you know, the amount of years and marketing dollars that are put out there and, you know, just the atmosphere that uh, the big guys uh, create and try to uh, develop and, you know, when you're sponsoring sports franchises and, you know, people's favorite sports teams, people's favorite arenas and, uh, and stuff like that, then it's, you know, it's hard to change those habits and, uh, but, you know, I, I've uh, traveled down to the States uh, quite a lot over the past 10 years and you see that they've uh, changed and taken craft beer by storm and every single small town down there has a craft beer brewery, a brew pub, or, and uh, so I knew that it was going to follow in Canada and, and it is starting, you know, well now we have 150 breweries in Ontario so it's, it's getting bigger and bigger. So. Yeah, you, you think... America and you think Michelob, of course, until you get down there and you realize, no, no, they've, yeah, they've got it going on. Like, and the biggest thing for me was, you know, being a business traveler down there was, you know, they, you, you'd you be at the airport or be at a bar in the small town and you, you'd hear people in the business, the average person would come in and they'd be like, what's your local beer? They wouldn't even want, you know, what's your statewide beer? What's your local town beer nowadays? So that's that's more of where I think uh, the industry is going to go. We're going to have more, you know, the local breweries, you know, supplying to the, uh, the local bars and restaurants. So that's where we thought Milton, you know, being a great place to live where Kevin and I both live and and uh, we thought it would and support us, and uh, they have so far, so it's been great. Uh, where's your water come from? Uh, the water, uh, right now, we're just using uh, the town water, so uh, we have a filter on it. But, uh, yeah, I guess I could uh, ship in my, uh, I live out on uh, out in the country, I could bring in my well water, spring water, and uh, just like uh, uh, good old Creamore, and uh, <laughs> bring it in my truckload every day. But, no, yeah, we're just uh, using the local town waters. Uh, what's unique about your process or you know, recipe? I uh, there's really uh, you know what I think what we focus on is uh, you know we're definitely not a bottom line uh, brewery so we're 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 putting the quality expensive uh, grains into our brews and uh, and we've been developing the recipes for uh, quite a long time <laughs> and here comes the railway. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so I guess uh, re really it's, you know, when you're doing small batches and uh, using premium product or grains and, uh, you know, yeah, I think that's where it gets, you know, attention to detail, clean equipment, you know, it's, uh, we, like I was getting into, you know, we've been testing our recipes for the last uh, eight plus years, so we, we just, we've been, you know, testing family and friends and neighbors and garbage men, and so it's uh, whatever, whatever the best recipes uh, that went out or, you know, that, you know, it's stuck with the people, that's the ones we're using right now, so. Cool. Uh, what's the oddest, sorry, how long have you been open? Uh, three months. So three yeah. months. And are we the first two? First tour, yes. First tour. So, oh. the, <laughs> my next question is going to be, what's the oddest, craziest beer tour you have? But I guess it would be us. There you go. <laughs> the guys from Kitchener, Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what's your favorite movie? Ah, uh, wow. That's a hard one. I don't even have time to watch movies anymore, so... Uh, Favorite movie of all time? I don't know. 
one that pops in my head, I guess. And, well, Goodwill Hunting, I guess. Uh, looking through a crystal ball, what do you think is going on in the craft independent beer industry in 10 years? I, I think what I was uh, talking about originally, I think that I think it's going to be more localized than it is now. Um, people will start focusing just on their local uh, markets instead of trying to go all across Ontario or all across Canada. Or, but, you know, I guess in the end when you have a good beer, it'll go <laughs> where that, wherever it'll take, right? So, but I think distribution costs are the biggest things that, uh, so, but I think there will be a, you know, a contraction right now. It's booming, you know, same in the 80s. And uh, I think there's going to be another probable, probable contraction of all the, some small guys, you know, that just can't stick it and the economics aren't working. So, so do, with that, do you think it's getting too saturated? Um, I don't think yet, but uh, lately, the last couple of years now, you know, like us, new guys opening, it looks like there's a, and it's trending, it's trending that uh, even this year, I think it's going to be more new breweries opening in Ontario than last year. So if that keeps on, then yeah, I think it'll be, get a little saturated in the, uh, in the market. So. Okay. Uh, what were you doing before you started making billions? <laughs> yeah. Tons of money in craft beer, let me tell you. <laughs> well, I'm a, I am used, used to be, a, you know, I'm a mechanical engineer, professional mechanical engineer by trade, so that's a product manager of a civil engineering firm, so. You're still doing that? Yeah, yeah. so, yeah, so. so this is your weekends. Our nano breweries are nights and weekends, yeah. This is uh, my uh, second job, or so. That's cool. Yeah. Um, name one person in history present, living, now or dead, that you'd like to sit down and have a beer with? Uh, hmm. Winston Churchill was a, was a kind of a unique fellow, so I guess I'll say that. Wow, you're the second one to say that. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And what's your favorite band? What music you listen to? Um, right now, uh, I guess the best band, you know, would be... Uh, uh, what bands do I listen to? I listen to a lot of uh, still uh, 80s rock, of course, you know, good old, the old, uh, the good old uh, hair metal bands. But uh, nowadays, I guess, uh, looking at, um, you know, D Dave Grohl and, uh, uh, yeah, C City of Color. Um, uh, there's tons of great Canadian bands right now, so. But yeah, City of Color. If I if I could if I could have anybody uh, you know launch our uh, expansion at a new brewery, and once we get into the micro level, then uh, it would probably be Dallas Green. So, of City of Color. So. Excellent. Awesome. All right. Thanks, man. No problem. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry about the train. Yeah, really. We'll fix that next time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>